As COVID-19 spreads across all corners of the world, we in the academe have decided to close our physical school doors and embrace digital learning. After months of looking for the perfect online learning platform, the University of San Agustin has finally decided to use NEO Learning Management System or the NEO LMS. NEO is a world-class, award-winning learning management system for schools and universities. The platform is known for delivering a great user experience while incorporating all the essential tools schools need to support effective teaching and learning. This tutorial video covers the most common steps you go through when you start using NEO. To log into NEO LMS using a desktop or a laptop, first open a web browser. The web browsers that can be used are the following for Windows platform, Google Chrome, and Mozilla Firefox. For the Mac OS, Safari. Then enter in the URL box USA dot neolms dot com click the login button located on the upper right corner of the page to log into neolms using mobile phone or tablet you must first download the neolms app for android users go to google play store type neolms on search box and look for this logo and click install once installed click open for apple ios users go to app store type neo lms on search box look for this logo and click get follow the installation instructions until you will successfully download the NEO LMS app. Once the app has been opened, type in University of San Agustin and click Continue. Click University of San Agustin logo and then click Log in with Google. There are two ways to log in to your USA NEO LMS account. First, you may go to the University of San Agustin NEO LMS site by typing usa.neolms.com and click log in. Then click the log in with Google button. Second, you may go to the Google site by typing in your URL google.com Then, click Sign In. For signing in, you need to use the university email provided to you. Once logged in, look for the Neo LMS icon by clicking Google Apps on the upper right corner of the site then scroll down click the neo lms icon once you have successfully logged in with your account you will be directed to your university neo lms student dashboard there are three ways for a student to enroll in a class first is through the classes tab Students can hover over the Classes tab, click Catalog, then select the class and click Enroll. Second is through People Picker. Enroll students using the People Picker. Lastly is by Email Invitations. Students are enrolled in a class by sending invitations through email. This is the preferred method by the Basic Education Department. To check your invitations, 
Go to your USA email account. Open your email invitations and accept the invitation. Once you have accepted your invitations, you are logged in to the system and taken to the class home page. The student dashboard is the first page you see when you log in to your account. Here you will find an overview of your classes and groups. You can also see your calendar, to-do list, announcements, and more. Let us now navigate the left bar of the student dashboard. The left bar displays tabs that allow you to quickly navigate the main areas of the site, such as home, catalog, and users. The top right bar displays icons, which you can click to access your messages, notifications, calendar, help center, search, and profile. The messages tab contains your messages received from your classes, teachers, administrators, and friends within the platform. You can also use this tab if you want to send messages to them. The Notifications tab allows you to see the class-related notifications like enrollments and assignments grading, or even the points you earned and badges or certificates you collected when participating in games in your class. Here are samples of notifications. The Calendar tab allows you to see the marked dates of important events, deadlines, and schedule of classes. New LMS doesn't want you to encounter difficulties when first using the site. Access the Help Center by clicking the icon on the top right bar. A pop-up box will open with options for choosing the searchable online help, getting started guides, and if enabled by an administrator, a student help desk. The searchable online help has topics organized by account type. It includes detailed instructions with screenshots. Because the help center is a pop-up, you can browse through the topics without having to leave your current page. In the search tab, you can look for various topics and things within the learning management system. Your profile page contains your basic information, account details, friends, photos, awards, and more. You can access your profile in the top right bar. To edit your profile, click on the Edit button. Here, you can edit your profile picture, description, password, and account info. In the Settings tab, you can either enable or disable different options for your profile and how you appear to other platform users. Here, you can also change your default language setting by choosing a language from a drop-down menu in the miscellaneous section. Let us now navigate the left bar of the student dashboard. The left bar displays tabs that allow you to quickly navigate the main areas of the site, such as home, catalog, and users. The home page will direct you to a page where you could find the tabs of your enrolled classes, groups, awards, and news. The Awards tab displays the awards, certificates, and badges that you have collected in your classes. The News tab shows class announcements, lessons, events, and more. The Catalog tab shows you a list of classes that you can choose to enroll. The Users tab shows list of your friends, your teachers, and a group or circle you are in.
To enter into a class, first click the Home tab. Then choose the Enroll tab at the upper left corner. Then select the class you want to enter. Once a class has been chosen, you will then be directed to the lessons inside each class. These are sample modules inside the lessons. Click the Previous button if you want to go back to the previous page and the Complete and Continue button if you are done on a specific page or activity. To access and submit assignments, first go to the Home tab page. Then choose which class you are going to do the assignment. Click the Assignment button on the left side of the dashboard. It will then direct you to the list of assignments, activities, quizzes, discussions that you need to do and complete. For quizzes and survey assignments, answer the questions by clicking Take Quiz or Take Survey and then Finished once the quiz or survey is completed. The submission method depends on the type of assignment that you want to submit. For essay assignments, first prepare an answer by clicking Prepare Answer. These types of assignments give you the option to submit your answers right away or save your work and submit later. You can also see the assignments that are due by clicking the Assignments tab in a class. Assignments that have not been submitted don't have a check mark. Grades for individual assignments are displayed in the Assignments tab. The grade of an assignment is also displayed on the Overview page. You will usually receive notifications when an assignment has been graded. For the synchronous classes, the University of San Agustin will utilize three platforms. First, Zoom Meeting. Zoom is an online audio and web conferencing platform. People use it to make phone calls or participate in video conference meetings. Second, Google Meet. It is used for real-time student collaboration, connecting to the world and driving student discussion in and out of the classroom. Third, Microsoft Teams. This platform is used to communicate with students, answer questions, and provide extra help with channel and chat conversation from any remote location. However, the basic education department prefers to use the Zoom app for all synchronous classes. NEO also provides parent accounts to allow parents to view their children's grades, track their progress, and communicate with school staff, especially the teachers. To access, parent accounts are added to the system by the administrator. Another option is through email invitations. After the parents have accepted the invitation, they will go through the normal sign-up process. Parents have their own dashboard with tiles, which show various statistics, such as classes and groups that the children are enrolled in, and links to their profile, grades, and calendar. Yet again, this is possible if the system administrator allows so. As of now, Parents can use the account of their children to have access to the NEO Learning Management System. We hope that this tutorial video helps you go about the NEO Learning Management System. 
Rest assured that the University of San Agustin will not stop in providing you with innovative techniques, rich resources, proven instructional strategies, and engaging programs as we embark in this digital switchover. Again, welcome to the University of San Agustin.